Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this is my uh, latest project. I've, I've just finished the, um, or about a week ago I finished the um, Dyna Blaster for the ZX81, the Bomberman. Uh, so this is what I, I started work on earlier today, um, just before lunchtime. I, uh, I wasn't at work today, I got the day off and I've also got tomorrow off so I can do some more work on it. So this is several hours work uh, and this is, believe it or not, a ZX81, albeit with the Chroma interface and the Quicksilver character board emulated. Um, and this is um, uh, basically the EGET engine taken from the Spectrum or a version of it uh, and then applied on the ZX81 uh, with the, um, the extra hardware emulated. So as you can see it's capable of um, supporting four sprites, one player sprite and three enemy sprites and Egghead basically does what you'd expect him to do, he moves left and right, he's well animated and he, uh, he jumps uh, and he falls and um, everything basically, it's just as you'd expect from the Egghead engine only this time working on the ZX81 uh, and if you don't believe me I'll just show, well I'll, I'll show you in a minute um, but this um, yeah, this, this has been um, a tricky one. I mean, obviously the, the Quicksilver character board is, is character based, so what you get are um, 128 characters. So you have to redefine all of the character set, or a good portion of it. Uh, and so I've, I've done that with some of the blocks. Obviously you can see there are more than two colours per block, so I'm using the character mode for, for Chroma, the Chroma interface, which gives us um, Timex style graphics such as you find on the Timex uh, TC-2048 or the TS-2068 um, so you, you get extra colours and it's, it's more colourful than the Spectrum I don't think there's going to be time to be honest to have multicoloured sprites on this I think that, that might be asking a little bit too much for for, um, for this but we'll, we'll see uh, how things go um, but regarding the sprites they, they have to be um, generated on the fly every single fl frame. So what we have to do is allocate a number of uh, character blocks and then move the sprite graphics into those character blocks and display those character blocks on the screen. Um, so that, that's, that takes up a fair bit of CPU time unfortunately, um, but it is rather effective. Uh, now Egghead has nine characters, um, so up to nine characters when he's straddling X and Y cells. Um, the enemy uh, sprites all use six characters, um, either three by two or two by th three, um, depending on whether they're horizontally or vertically patrolling sprites. Uh, and so, basically, all you have um, is uh, 27 characters of the 128 taken up for the sprites. Um, so what we have to do is we have to do a little calculation in the code. And let's see um, what we're doing here. I mean, this is the bit that, that processes the uh, the enemies, and um, as you can see, um, I'm there's my uh, address. Um, that's where I, I put the characters. Those are the first eight characters on the Quicksilver uh, character board. That's the address that they go in, uh, and all I'm doing is I'm calling IHOR, which is uh, to image the horizontal um, sprites. We do that with all uh, of those um, enemies, and. Here we see we're sorting out the image for the horizontal sprite, and all it's doing is it's it's um, working out uh, the start address of the source graphics. Um, so it, it's using a displacement; it's multiplying um, the frame number by uh, 48. The frame number obviously is taken from the um, the horizontal position of the sprite, which is in disp Y. Um, I, I mix up my X and Y coordinates, as anyone who's ever seen my code um, will know. Uh, and then we just multiply that up by shifting it into position, uh, setting it into the uh, DE register pair, and then we take the image pointer, that which is the basic image, uh, we add that to it, and then we know basically where we're taking the image from, and that's copied into the character graphics, uh, as you saw um, there. So that's that's all there is to it. Um, just jumping through a few hoops just to get some, some sprites on the screen. Um, and that's that's basically the Egghead engine. I'm, I'm going to have a little bit more time tomorrow to put some more stuff in. 
Um, I think I'm going to have some CPU time left to do maybe some lasers or something, uh, maybe some spikes, but moving spikes that come up and, or, or down out of blocks, which which might be fun. Um, and if I can, maybe even I'll, I'll get the odd arrow shooting across the screen somewhere. But it depends how much CPU time I have left because this is um, the first frame is is tight. I mean, this is uh, 25 frames per second, and the first frame is pretty close. I, I tried to put three frames in the first frame, and um, I ended up with a lot of flicker. So. Um, we'll, we'll see where we uh, we have to put all the, um, the remaining graphics routines. But um, that's all there is to it, and I said I'd, I'd prove to you that this is a ZX81. Well, first of all, let's take off the um, chroma colour. So that's black and white. And let's take off the Quicksilver character board emulation, and there you go. That is a ZX81 underneath it. <laughs> so, um, I hope you've... Uh, found this uh, video interesting and I'll um, maybe see you in the next one.